today what we're going to do is use the sketchbook app and we're going to make an outer space picture. The first thing I always like to do is sort of pinch to zoom out, look at the full page. I'm going to go to my layers panel on the right hand side and I'm going to hit the plus sign at the top twice. So now I have three layers total. Where I'm going to focus on the top layer to start, I'm going to use my technical pen and I'm going, to use, I'm going to make it black to draw in this first phase. What I'm going to do is start by drawing whatever details I want. Maybe I'll make a sun over here in the corner. I might decide that I'm going to make a flying saucer, so I'm going to make a little oval, a semicircle on top of that. Maybe I'm going to divide it up. Maybe I'll make a little bit of flames or something coming out of the bottom. Maybe I'll make a friendly alien inside. I always pinch to zoom in at the area that I want to work on. Helps me to focus and draw a little bit better. So I'm going to make a little blobby alien, give it some horns, pointed ears. I'm going to give it one big eye. I might draw a planet. Let's say over here I'm going to draw just part of a planet. And then I might draw a smaller planet over here. Drawing just a little circle. Maybe this one's going to have rings like Saturn. I might decide to draw something like an asteroid or a comet flying through space like that. That seems good enough for me to start with my composition. Now what I might do is use my fill bucket up on the top and I'm going to fill in some of those shapes. So I might start by making a big star or sun yellow. I might make the sort of corona around it, orange. Um, this looks like it could be an Earth-like planet, but I'm going to make it a totally different planet. I'm going to give it pink ground. Maybe I'll give it some sort of bluish purple. I'm going to make that planet off in the distance more of a green. Oops, if I, if I accidentally tap those lines, they turned green. So I'm going to hit my back arrow up on the top. I'm going to pinch to zoom in. And that looks pretty good to me. Now what I might do is I'm going to tap and hold this layer, drag it up above. I'm going to use my airbrush tool to add a little bit of shading to this. So maybe I'm going to airbrush over the star or the sun and mix in a little bit of some other oranges and reds and stuff like that. I might airbrush to add some shadows on this side of that flying saucer. Or I might airbrush to add a little streak of white where the highlights are, where the light is hitting it most brightly. Or on the bubble dome a little bit of white over that. I might increase the opacity of my airbrush to get a brighter highlight. I might add some shadows around the perimeter of this planet, but I want to lower the opacity to get a little bit more natural shadow and a smoother transition there.
Now I'm going to go to my very bottom. I'm going to choose the background color. I'm going to make that black. And I'm going to go to the layer above. And I'm going to add the stars there. I'm going to make my other layers invisible for right now so I can focus on just this background. I might decide that I want to make my space a little bit more colorful by adding a little bit of airbrushing to that and adding some other colors the way we might see in outer space. There's sort of dust and gases and stuff like that. I might also just decide to use my pen tool to add just little dots of white for stars or I could add other colored dots around. Doesn't necessarily always have to be just white. Sometimes making it a little bit more colorful can make it a little bit more interesting. And then I might use my airbrush tool, increase the opacity just a little bit, and I might use that to make the glow around those stars. I might decide to make it more pale white glow. I might go over some of them to make them a little bit brighter and some of them go quicker to make them seem a little bit dimmer and faint in the distance. Now when I put, make my other layers visible on top of that, I have a slightly more complete picture. So this is what it looks like without the airbrushing. It's all just flat colors filling everything in. This is what that airbrush tool adds when you add a little bit of shading on it. Oh, and it looks like I forgot to color in or shade in the tail of that comet. One thing I really like to do is add details like that on the bottom layer so that it's neatly outlined above it. So I can just airbrush, and when I take that out, it's just this blurry little speck for the airbrushing. But that outline above the airbrushing sort of neatly frames it all.